and spin back and forth. Okay. Okay. I love your analogy to instead of like a steering wheel, it's like an indicator. And right. the minute you said that, she was like, it was guiding instead of dir yeah. like over directive. Um, um, now, now knowing what I know, I'm glad I didn't. Yes. But he grew so big so fast. As a, I think he was still five or six. He had like OCDs and all these things everywhere. Stifles, pet locks, you name it. Ended up getting worse. And then they figured out it was mostly catching stifles. So we put him on Estrone and that's been better. And we've injected everything back there and he warms up a little flat tire but then he feels fine. Okay. And um, I'd say we just finally got back to like, like really being able to push him a little bit. Like he feels like he can hold on to it. Okay. Yeah. But I can get past his, like always worrying about his soundness. Um, I feel really good with, about him. Like I went to a schooling show been jumping great or cross country was really good or stretchy or isn't that relax. I want you to lower yourself softer in the saddle. You need to get a little bit more control of your thighs on the way down. A little That's what he does. He gets like tight and arches his back and gets really curled over until you, like I do a lot of tran transitions and kind of get that out of there. That's why I stretch when you're able to. Let's try that again. Because I want you to ask less, even less, a bit like Finn. Finn. Okay. Knowing that you're going to have, you're going to have him round. He's going to be round. Yeah. No, it's beautiful, right? Yep. Let him poke his nose. A little bit. Walk. Give, 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 give early. Good. Now just let him peter out, like peter into the trot. Walk. Let go. Let him pull at your hands a little for this. That's right. Trot. So what were you saying again? I know, but but walk. Your horse go. Your horses go great on the flat. They're so respectful and nice. I love that in a horse. But you're putting too much salt in, just by a little, just by a little lot of training. And usually, you have to undo what they did. Say it again. Or don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do, this, don't do that. And pretty soon you go. Hey, listen. Okay. Yeah. Mode. Just, okay. Look, last time, because you had canter before I first saw him, right? Okay, yeah. Is that true or not true? Yeah. Well, I was trotting first, but yeah. No, no. When I first looked up, yeah. see, he's already in yes mode. See? He just relaxed. Yeah. So, to me, he's, he's shaped like this. Like, he leans his haunches really right. And so, I try to fix that Okay, so, so what's worse? A bound up... A bound up, like you, you're gonna prioritize. Yeah. Once he's relaxed and willing, can you straighten his body? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. How come? Because I know how to do it. So what are you worried about? Look, I love overachievers, okay? But it still becomes a problem a little bit. Yeah. The good news is, is you don't mentally struggle with the overachieving, it's just you just put a lot into it. Yeah. So for you, relaxing is pretty simple. A lot of people that are overachievers have a difficult time relaxing where you don't. It's just the choice that you've gone a little too far in the spectrum, that's all. Yeah. 
in our walk, winning anyway. That's going to beat the other horse. That's going to beat the. That's going to beat him originally. The, the cadence is very true. Okay. There's a little teeny bit more um, suspension. Okay. Actually, there's more than a teeny bit. There's actually a good amount more suspension. Okay. So there you, you fixed them, right? I would by far like it the other way. If I have to choose between relaxed and then fix him or fix him and then relax, I'm going relaxed and fix him for sure. Just relax. Yeah, you're gonna fix him. That's how I do it. Because you've already taught him how to be fixed. But the fix becomes much more elegant and supple when he's in the right frame of mind. <laughs> Just quack to him. Okay, and then when you can or off, does he do the same thing or not? Sometimes, if he's fresh, he like curls up, over. goes like a dragon a little bit. Yeah. How about this? Use an opening rein. Opening left rein. Yeah. Doesn't that free him up a little? I think it frees the horses up a little bit. Opening left rein. Opening left rein. Now when you go to open your left rein, you open it, open it. Why are you supposed to hold your right hand? <laughs> I don't feel like, like when I put my right leg on, yeah. he like pushes against it, like he doesn't fit. Don't like reach. I can't get him to respond when it's opening left, I feel like he's just falling. So. I, you don't have to bend him so it's just open your left hand a little bit. Lower it, lower it, your hands are too high. Now put your right leg on. He stepped right over. He's got to have somewhere to step, doesn't he? Yeah. He needs to have somewhere to step. Front. And then walk. So I'm not concerned that you're not going to have a thick step. I'm trying to get you more leaning towards the area that you need to work on. Okay. I don't need to know what you're doing. You need to linger as much as just good timing and feel. Okay. But just, yeah, you know, let your fingers just, there you go, just a little. It automatically makes you a little bit more elastic, doesn't it? The difference is there is that he looks just as good or better, but he looks like it's easy for him. It doesn't look like you're manufacturing it. Even if you are, it just doesn't look it. That's nice. Now make a smallish turn when you can. That's good. Change. That was shoulder first. Huh? That was shoulder first. Good. Now coming to the other one again right here. Gentle left flexion. Conch first. Conch first. Right leg back. Right leg back. Well, much better, huh? Right? Much better. that feeling and then 
catch a couple single jumps. Let's just see where we're at. But the same idea. It's the Canada part. Just go. If it's not right this time, I'll fix it next time. And you can fix his body wherever you need to, but don't do that part first. So this is actually pretty similar to thin in that I think if you get a little too close you're going to get crampy in his body. Yep, that's way better, huh? Right? Just looser in the body. Turn around and come get the barrel. Excellent, huh? That's what you want. Yeah. Okay. Slow in again. Stay with him with your shoulders just like you did. Just like you did. him jump that two a little slower. Just the two. The one's good. Now, whoa. Whoa. Delay. Good. Really good. to create like there's a pole here that okay. he can't see and a pole here he can't see. Okay. And you want to have him just set and jump around the two he can't see. Okay. Because he's going to bip but then when he went, oh, that didn't work. Then he used himself really Better. well with that awkward. Yep. Kind of this is a hog back. Okay. So you, you're going to jump the rail that he can't see here, and you're going to support him so he stays away from it. Okay. good okay barrel steady six down to the chest two feet again okay come on okay right inside turn inside the cavalletti yep Out in an ad, huh? Yeah. 
Yeah, that'd be good. So you delay him off the front a little and then let him finish behind. Yeah. Don't push hard, just ride normal. Let his rear end flow out and reach across normal. He didn't yeah. suck his rear end up. He always just has his tiny little knots. Unless he, he does get more, well, I think what he jumps better at shit. Is you support the front and then ride across the back. 